Hello, I'm Ken Schmidt from the X-Bands, and today we're going to be going over our suspension straps and what makes our suspension straps different from other companies. So basically, uh, there's three different reasons why I went with this design that I came up with uh, versus some of the other designs that you've seen out there. So basically, the first thing that makes mine different from everybody else's is the way I designed it. Is I took safety in mind and I looked at some of the other suspension straps that were out there and their adjustment to make them shorter or longer was basically a sliding adjustment. Uh, well, sliding adjustments can be a little dangerous uh, basically because they slide and you don't want to slide at the wrong time and have somebody hurt themselves and fall on the ground. So what I did instead of that, I basically had D-rings permanently sewed into the suspension strap about every foot up on the strap. So if you basically want to make it shorter or longer, you take your handles, which are also detachable, you can attach them to anything you want, and you basically connect it to whatever length that you want it to be. So if you're working in a closed area or if you want to change your angle to make it something shorter, you basically just take the handle and clip it up into these permanent D-rings and they're not going to slide, they're not going to break. Uh, so basically, you're going to worry a lot less about falling on the floor and hurting yourself. So, that's the first main thing that, we, that uh, I designed it this way for. The second thing is I made our suspension straps two individual straps. So they don't come to a point, you know, a couple uh, feet behind you. So, in having two different straps, sometimes you may only want to use one if you're doing a lot of leg exercises. You can just use one strap and then that way the other one isn't dangling around, hitting the floor, tangling up on yourself, uh, may cause you to fall. Another thing is when you're doing your Superman flies, uh, when you're bringing the, the handles together, uh, if you're using the straps where they come together right behind you, if it's one strap, it's going to be pinching your shoulders uh, and your back and it makes it a little uncomfortable. So basically uh, what these are, you can set them up so you have one over here and slide one over here so when you're doing your Superman flies, which I'll show you here in a little bit, uh, it's not going to pinch your shoulder blades, it actually makes it for a lot harder exercises because <clears throat> you can set these all wider than your shoulders so it's actually going to be trying to pull your arms together or arms apart while you're trying to push them together so you actually get a twice better exercise going those lines. And also the third thing that sets mine apart from everybody else's is basically our cost. I try to make ours as low as possible so basically uh, anybody can buy these so instead of spending hundreds of dollars on some of our uh, the other suspension straps out there, ours are real cheap, real affordable, and they're built, you know, I think safer, stronger, and more efficient than some of the other ones out there. So, uh, this is our suspension straps. Uh, now I'm going to go through and show you a couple different exercises, basically to get you started, and then from there on you can use your imagination and uh, come up with whatever exercises you want. Alright, so I'm going to get ready. Alright, so now that you got your suspension straps, uh, if you ordered it with our door attachment, I'm going to just show you quick how to attach this to your door and then I'm going to go back and use our wall attachment to uh, show you the exercise. So basically this is our door attachment. Uh, we also make a steel one. You can order that one on request as well. Uh, but this one's universal and it goes around any door. So basically what you're going to do is just take your suspension straps and clip them into the carabiner like so. And just loop this over the top of your door. You just close your door and then you can use your suspension straps this way. So basically it fits in the door, loops over the door, clip in your suspension straps and you're good to go. Okay now I'm going to show you how to hook up your suspension straps using our custom wall mounts. Here, so I'm going to show you our wall mounts real quick. So basically it's a steel plate, it comes with all the hardware you need to mount it into your wall. Uh, the bolts, the snap clips, and everything. You just take your suspension straps and you just clip them in. And you can mount these at any height along your wall uh, so it makes it nice and easy. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple different exercises to get you started going here real quick. So, the first thing we're going to do is just going to do a simple back workout. Uh, so basically, you're just going to lean back. I'm going to adjust this up a little bit shorter. So I'm in the picture mark. So 
and you're just going to lean back, and you're just going to pull yourself forward. Now, you can adjust how hard or easy it is by basically the angle in which you put yourself at to the wall. So the harder you want to make it, the more angle you put yourself at. The easier you want it, the less angle you have. And then you can move your hands and move your elbows to make it easier or harder to hit different parts of your back as well. Okay, now to go in and hit your arms, we're going to do some biceps. This, you just hold your hands straight out. Like I said, change your angle to make it easier or harder. And you're just going to curl your body forward. Okay, now if you want to do your triceps, the back of your arm, you just go behind it and kind of do the opposite. So change your angle, make it easier or harder, wherever you want to be. And you go forward, and you use the triceps to push it back up. Good. Alright, so next we're going to do some chest exercises. So like I was talking about before, those Superman flies, you basically just lean forward and you're just going to bring your hands together. And to make it easier or harder, you can change your angle as well. Okay? From here, we're just going to go and do a couple simple leg exercises. So basically, just what you're going to do is you're just going to put your foot in the uh, foot holster here at the bottom. Just one foot. You're going to come out, and you're just going to do like one-legged squats. Just come down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Real simple, real easy. Uh, you just switch back and forth and do that on each other's leg. For also for legs, if you want to do more of a cardio workout for your legs, you just do your jump squats. So basically, you just lean back and you come down and you jump. Like that. You do as many exercises as you want. All right, to hit abs, you're going to put both feet in and you can come to the Look down at the floor or look up at the ceiling. We're going to start off looking down at the floor. So we're going to put both feet in. And you're going to do your mountain climber. So you just back and forth. From here, you can go and do a lot of different variations. You can do it with your feet together. You can bring your hips up. You just kind of play around and do different exercises. If you want, you can do it the opposite way. It's also a really good ab workout, as well as legs, arms, full body. Same thing, you put your legs in this way. And bring your legs this way. Go forward, backwards, in, out. So these are just a couple different exercises to get you started. Uh, I hope you enjoy. If you want more exercises, let me know. We can come up with more circuits or whatnot, or just search out on the internet. If you have any more questions, uh, please let me know. Comment down below, send me an email, thexmeds at gmail.com, and we'll get back to you. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed our suspension bands. Thank you.